so what we started here we have done a successful connection with the help of cloud connector yes and we have exposed our backend system over here through the cloud connector to our BTP account now it's time to create a destination and this is the main part of this session where I will show you how to use the new experience new destination experience in your BTP account to create a secure connectivity with your backend system and that's where it's called destination beta yes so SAP is providing this new experience to create destinations as compared to the last one so last one still can be used but the new experience is better so I come here and I click on create button now there are three options uh, first of all you can do it from scratch from a file or from a service instance in BTP so of course I will start with scratch so from a file means if you already have a destination provided by your colleague as a file you can use that then you can also go ahead and use a service instance which is already running in your BTP account through the service key you can create it but I'll go with the scratch click on create and then we are going to come here and give a property let's say I want to connect to my company s4 HANA dev system so s4 HANA dev and then I will choose HTTP my s4 HANA dev system it will be a proxy type internet now remember if it is through the cloud connector you probably go with on-premise yes uh, if you directly going with a direct exposed connection you will go with the internet then you will put the URL over here so I'll put the URL HTTP I'm going with HTTP port I put my URL of my SAP system and I will put basic authentication with my user ID and password of SAP system so let me put my user ID of ABAP system and my password of uh, ABAP system I will be putting here so I put that yes perfect next <coughs> I will go to add a property additional property these properties will be required by the BTP account to know what is the purpose of your destination Yes, why you are creating this destination so click on add property and first is HTML5 dynamic destination to be marked as true then web IDE enabled as true that it can be used with any web ID like for example in future I want to use my destination in the BAS tool then I can certainly use it that's another purpose yeah you can also go maximize the screen click on another add property web IDE usage the purpose of this destination is to do O data general and O data ABAP so it can be used to fetch the list of O data service from an ABAP system or any general O data connectivity yeah that is the purpose then next property we can add multiple properties like this one by one yes so next property is let me add yeah so next property here is uh, web ID is system so that will be the system ID of your server yes it is s4d s4 HANA development system so web ID usage I think I deleted it web ID usage o data gen gen and o data ABAP. okay perfect so then let's see if there is one more property I can add it So there are a lot of these properties HTML5 timeout put 60,000 okay so these are the bare minimum properties you must be adding in order to utilize the system to configure and connect to our from our BAS tool to the SAP server so these properties we have added we can click on create button now and wahala my destination is now created you can view the destination and now here you can check the connection so you can see without authentication destination succeeded yeah so there is a request which is going to the backend system and it's working of course connectivity worked but it did not authenticated you it did not check if the user ID password you have supplied here 
is correct or wrong that it did not do yeah that it did not do so that is the part which computer have done for us you can now export this destination in any format like i export it as a property file and then i will share it also as part of our study material so you all of you can probably go back into the study material and simply import this file uh, by using the import option so when you come to your btp account there's always a possibility to click on create and then you can say from a file import it and then you will be able to get this created very quickly in your btp account cool so that was the process of using the new destination beta experience to create a destination with our SAP BTP account. Once you create it here, it's also created here also. So it's the same place you can see. Yeah, it's also created here. It's also visible here, you see. Same thing, same thing. You can do connection check from here also. So it doesn't matter whether you do in the new experience which is called beta experience or whether do it in an old experience it's up completely up to us how we want to do this how we want to do this so that is the concept of creating a successful connection now once the connection is done our next step will be to check if this connection works with authentication or not in the bas tool so to do that we are going to go to our bas tool now So I will come to my business application studio tool where we already created our account. So now one more interesting thing. If you try to connect to BAS tool from here, yeah, it will give you a login screen. Yeah. And if you try to go inside, you can come to the trial account, sub account, go to services, instance and subscriptions. And there you will also see the BAS tool, Business Application Studio. If you click from here, you see it does an automatic login. Look at that. Yeah. So the recommended option is option two. Don't try to connect to BAS tool from the front screen. Yes, from the front screen. That's a recommended option. And now, of course, you can create a new dev space for Fiori development. Let's say Anubo trainings. And I will do it for Fiori and I click on create. 